Hello everyone! Hello! Uh, we spontaneously decided to make a little video because I saw something the other day in the shop which we had an eye on for the longest time and I bought it. It's a manga starter set made by Faber Castell. Faber Castell, you may have heard of that company even if you are not in Europe because I think they are selling worldwide. It's uh, a German company. They make a lot of very high quality artist stuff. Yeah, and they put together this little box for people, not necessarily only children, um, anyone who wants to learn how to draw manga. Yes. Um, well, let's just go straight in then, because none of us know what to really expect. Well, we technically know what's supposed to be in it, because as you saw, there's like a picture on the back, but pictures are one thing the real thing is always nicer find your individual style the term manga is made up of man funny and god drawings and can therefore be translated as funny drawings or images the drawing set from faber castell offers everything you need to immerse yourself in the world of manga funny images wasn't manga supposed to be meaning something like dramatic pictures? Mm, I'm not so sure. Well, we shall find it out and once we have found out, we will write it down in the video. So, what do we have here? Um, aside of the box, obviously, we have like a little booklet, which I will not take away, so not to remove too much. And... Uh, well, they supposedly show you how to draw. Try these techniques. Try these techniques. Tools. Zeichenstifte, if you are able to understand German. But it's also all in several languages. Yes, in several languages. languages. We have German, English, French, Italian, Spanish, uh, Korean, Japanese, and Chinese. It looks like yeah, it. CN. So far, I mean, I do see a lot of fine print, but uh, so we have like a mannequin here that's supposed to be in the box. Oh, the sketching with the mannequin. Lots of little poses here that you can replicate. There's how to draw the head of sorts. I've never seen it done like this before. Me neither. Um, normally they tell you to shave these off. Yeah, I've never seen it done like this before. It's all you can see. It's all very simple. If you have ever seen one of those how to draw manga books uh, in the store, or maybe if you even own one or have at least read one or several, um, they go more or less always in the same direction for better or for worse if that is like the only thing that you want to draw you may have fun with it your mileage will vary um here we have expression charts the eye well two eyes mm, two eyes hands. Use hands which are really hard to draw it's Oh, to draw, yeah, well, I mean, it's the bare minimum they show you here. I'm not sure if I didn't know what I'm looking at, if I really would be understanding a lot here, but I would have to look at this closer. Um, I guess this is about, yeah, clothing, clothes. Kleidung. Kleidung. As we Germans say. Inking, <laughs> which in German is called Tuschen. Tuschen. <laughs> uh, funny language. Uh, a bit of perspective here. A bit of very weird perspective. I don't know. Mm, a little bit interesting there. I mean, when I, when I see or hear perspective, I expect so, to see something like this. Mm -hmm. Because, too. I mean, this explains the basic uh, concept first. I mean, even that. Well, this is, ooh, try different poses, yeah, oh, hmm. okay. Uh, light and shadow. Use a light source. 
We are using a light source, mm. otherwise you would not be able to see anything because it's dark outside, we're filming in the evening, which is why this video may look a little darker than normal or at least a little different than normal. Yeah, we normally film these in the day, but tonight we decided we just to We just things. felt like, why not? Um, this is about volume. With a very stiff pose. A very stiff pose. I guess this was uh, copied directly from the mannequin, which we will come to in a bit. Um, oh, yeah. Panels. Panels, which you need the ruler for, I was wondering. What is that? Two job beta? What? Can you read it? Uh, yeah, in manga there are a wide range of traditional drawing techniques you can use. You can learn three of these in the following pages. <laughs> Tsuya better gives better. Uh, gives dark hair a glossy look and hints at light reflections. Ah, so they are going on about the yeah, uh, like technique of putting like white highlights on mm. colored surfaces. Yeah. I've never knew that it's called this way. And here we have another thing. Shuchu, shu, uh, probably I'm butchering this. Shuchu Sen? Uh, looks like action lines. Action lines, yeah. You see these uh, thingies. Um, oh, cross hatching. Cross hatching, which of course also has uh, a Japanese name, which I'm not saying now. I think the people that know the Japanese language have been tortured enough by my bad, bad spelling. And here we even have something in color. Oh, I've seen some of these sets. They had them at that one bookshop we went to. Oh, okay. That's interesting. I mean, they seem to um, at least somewhat be combined in colors that you fit together yeah and that's your book hmm. okay i will put this aside and here's your set <laughs> hmm. i once i once had one of these uh wooden mannequins but it wasn't like painted black in parts I guess it is to make the, the joints and the hands more visible. We're just quickly posing something. There we go. Yeah, I can't get the legs right because I'm not sure if this is stuck in the front or the back. Hmm. So I'll just pose him like that there. I think I think the since the stick is the stick is normal in the back, I think. Normally. I hmm. I think um, if you had something where you could draw, like with a white pen, your perspective grids on this, it would probably make it a bit mm. easier. Yeah, this is maybe, yeah, this is, could be like a fun thing for the future. Mod the mannequin. Mod the mannequin. <laughs> Mod the mannequin. What else do we have? A very thick ruler, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a very thick ruler. That is a very thick ruler. Normally these are like, uh, they snap if you just look too sharp at them. Um, this part is slightly rougher. You have like the little bumps coming out of here. I suppose for grip. It's nice and tactile. So as far as rulers go, this isn't bad. I mean, you have the centimeters here and I guess you, no, those are only centimeters. Oh. But it's, it's a nice ruler. Can't tell you, say anything against that. They have given us 12 0.5 MMB lead. Okay. Super polymer. They normally give HB, so this is B. This is B. B is uh, nice for sketching. Yeah, B is really nice for sketching. So we've got that. We've got um, this eraser here. Usually eraser first. This is the eraser. Apparently it doesn't make dust. Hmm. So it never wars out? Dust rolls together, break resistant, huh. comfort edge for added ease when erasing. That's hmm. what it says on there. So it's a luxury eraser. Yeah. Um, and here I already like had it. That's the mechanical pencil. Does it work? Yes, it does. It's actually nice. Feels nice. 
Here you go. Well, that does feel nice actually in the hand. It feels very weighted. Yeah, that, that this is this is not this is not one of these cheap ones that you can buy in a shop. This is actually it feels very weighted, very nice, very yeah, tactile. Yeah, I think this is a very quality one. It is. I think this and these pens are also the most expensive part of the set because those pens are not just fine liners. No. Those are Pit Artist Pen Fine Liner. A Pit Artist Pen. Yes. Uh, you get them in... I'm not sure how this goes with the, with the lighting. If we've got too much reflection here. They come in several sizes. This is a 0 0.07. It is a B. What is a B? Brush. Oh, it's a brush. Okay. That's nice. And this is probably a very fine one. XS. XS, yeah. So it's probably... Oh, uh, there was a number. 0 0.1. 0 0.1. Oh, okay, okay, that's very thin. And I bet, yeah, this is an M. So you got small for your... Very fine details. You got medium for your average stuff, and you got like a fat pen for well outlines, etc. All these things. Well, a brush pen that means you get lots of versatility in your lines. Yes. So we got this. We got the eraser, and of course we got some. Can you get it? Chargeables with this. Whoa. No, American. I killed him. He's dead. He, he, well, we call him he. He could be a she, whatever. They. And that's your thing. And that's what's all in there. Hmm. What do we think? Well, I like uh, the pencil so far. I know I haven't used it yet. But I do, I am curious, especially with in here i've never seen head construction done like that before i mean yes the head construction that you've always seen in these things are always very similar to each other but i've never seen a head construction like how they show over here so i think it would be fun to actually go through this book and follow the instructions and see what we come up with yes i was just trying to do something funny here but i failed but yeah um so we do have like a little manual. We do have pens, very high quality ones. Yeah. I can't uh, stress that out enough. Those are actually expensive pens. I think if you buy a set of these, I'm not sure. I think it's already like 10 euros or so. Um, so this is not cheap. Yeah. I think the, I'm not sure now. I'm probably like uh, wrong if I say this may be like the most expensive part of this next to this and then you're already almost at the price so yeah we shall um look into this try to draw a little bit with it and then we will tell you what we think uh you did find something interesting yeah i've also seen these sorry i was just looking i have seen these as well also at one of the bookshops we went to recently they have yes, these as well those are those are these here. The pit pens. Okay, and I know they had these ones as well for the <laughs> colors. They had these, but I didn't look at the price. Yes, they also did have um, different sets. There was a set that was more geared towards traditional comic drawings. Um, there were several very high quality color pencils in there. There was like another one um, which was similar to this. This was the last of its kind on the shelf, so I thought i just buy this quickly before it's gone completely because we wanted to show this off. Yeah. We may get more of these if that's something that you're interested in to see if it's worth getting one yourself. If you're interested in this kind of um, yeah, introductional stuff, leave it in the comment section and we see what we can do. Yes. And also if you're interested in um, maybe how to draw books, etc. If you have something that caught your eye but you're not sure about it, just let us know and we shall look into it and see if it's worth getting and uh, then we might feature it on our channel. Yeah, and review it and everything and give our yes. opinion.
And if you are like a publisher that has stuff like this and you want someone on YouTube to take a look at it uh, and you are not afraid of an honest opinion because we will always give that, you're also free, of course, to contact us um, and we can see how we get together. And yeah, I think that's it for this little video. Yeah, we will go off and use these and we will make an update video on how we came along with this. Yes. So for the moment, I would say thank you for watching. Um, and have a nice day. Bye. Bye.